Hi, I'm Rob Johnson with CBS Chicago with a check of the news. Public park activists are suing to block construction of the Obama Presidential Center in Jackson Park. A federal lawsuit filed yesterday called the proposed plan a bait and switch, claiming the public land was transferred for an official presidential library, although the former president now says his official records will be maintained elsewhere. The organization Friends of the Park also opposes the Jackson Park location, but is not party to this lawsuit. In a statement, though, the group called the filing, quote, an indication of the fact that the Friends of the Parks is not alone in our concern about Chicago parks being seen as sites for real estate development. We also reached out to the Obama Foundation, but so far no response. The city called the center a once in a lifetime opportunity to create jobs on the southwest side. Loyola Academy in Wilmette fires its head varsity girls soccer coach after allegations of inappropriate behavior toward team members. School officials say they terminated Craig Snower last Thursday after they received confidential complaints he made inappropriate or offensive comments. The school says an investigation has been open and it is cooperating fully with authorities. Snower also served as girls director for the FC United Soccer Club. It could soon happen in Illinois. Legal betting on baseball, football, basketball, hockey, and other sports. The U.S. Supreme Court struck down a federal law prohibiting sports betting. The ruling allows the states, if they want, to allow their citizens to engage in sports gambling. Any team, any time they want. Led by Illinois State Representative Lou Lang, lawmakers are drafting legislation to sanction sports betting, but he cautions we have to do it right, overdoing it fast. Opponents say it will create a new generation of gamblers. It may be harder to find a drinking fountain at city parks. The Chicago Park District says it may remove up to half its outdoor drinking fountains because of high levels of lead. 100 of the park district's 1,200 fountains have already been removed. 550 others will remain shut off. In 2016, the park district shut down 18% of its indoor and outdoor water fountains. As we take you traveling around the country, we're finding temperatures along the West Coast in the low 70s for Sacramento and Los Angeles, 67 Seattle and Portland, but it's hot down in Dallas, 93 degrees, 88 in Little Rock, 83 in St. Louis, 95 in Houston. We see a lot of tropical moisture sort of enhancing rain chances around the Florida Peninsula and also around the southeastern U.S. Otherwise, the nation's midsection is pretty quiet. Just a few showers here in the southern states and then heading into the mid-Atlantic as well. Not a big day for severe weather. Thank goodness for that. As we check Chicago's seven day, a beautiful trend of quiet weather with that ridge of high pressure in place. Dry and quiet at least through Saturday afternoon. Cooler lakeside though, that water temperature of Lake Michigan is only 56. So while we'll make it into the upper 70s near 80 inland, probably the upper 60s lakeside. Storm threat comes in Saturday night and may linger Rob a little bit on Sunday. All right. Thanks, Mary Kay. Amazon Go, the retail giant's latest cashierless shopping concept, is apparently opening right here in Chicago. Amazon is looking for managers for a grocery store similar to this one in Seattle. Using the Amazon Go smartphone app, shoppers swipe their phones on the way in. Sensors then track what they buy when they simply walk out. No word yet when the store might open. The Chicago Police Memorial Foundation honors more of its own today for courage in the line of duty. This morning we honor four sergeants and four officers who took part in the craziest action, action on a quiet Sunday morning last summer. The team was awarded for its handling of a hostage standoff in Chicago's northwest side. A man held his wife and daughter at gunpoint in their apartment near Diversity and LeClaire and shot at officers who fired back. The man later died, but the woman and child were rescued without injury. The officers and sergeants were praised for their bravery and their calm in the face of danger. Westside born and bred basketball Hall of Famer Isaiah Thomas stopped by CBS2 to talk about his new line of Sherlon Champagne. Parts of the sales of the highly rated wines will benefit the NBA Retired Players Association. So how did the bad boy become so bubbly? You know, from pouring it on my head and tasting it, I was like, ooh, this is good. <laughs> but no, just from a business aspect, uh, we got a unique partnership now with the Retired Players Association and the current players. So it really is the player's champagne. There's a coaching vacancy in Detroit and Toronto. Yeah. And, uh, you, any little inkling or itch to get back on the sideline? You know, there's always an itch, and then there's reality. <laughs> <laughs> you put on with the yeah. champagne. Yeah, yeah, it's like, I'm, I'm good right here. You know, I got a smile on my face. You know, I'm selling champagne. Yeah, no gray hair. <laughs> nah, I, I got a good life right now. 
Isaiah did share a little of it with us, and it's very good, the rosé. For the latest headlines, day or night, head to CBSChicago.com. I'm Rob Johnson. Have a great day.